Hi everybody, Reich Polo Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to do a little test on your zero turn, or in this case, my zero turn. Um, one thing I noticed when I was running it that it seemed to have a really weak engine, especially when I tried to put any kind of load on it, like engage the blades. Uh, the engine seemed to die down or bog down really bad. So I thought to myself, it feels like I'm running with just one cylinder, like it's not firing both cylinders. So one way to test that is to pull one of the spark plug wires off while it's running and see if it dies. If it dies when you pull off that spark plug wire, the opposite side is the one that is bad because an engine can run on one cylinder. So then you, you do the opposite, you know, you put both wires back on, start it up and you pull the other wire off. If you pull that wire off and the engine continues to run, you know, the opposite side is the one that's still firing so anyways and diagnosing that you can determine it's possibly one of a couple things it could be as something as simple as spark plug need to be replaced or the uh, the wire in the ignition coil could be going bad that's probably the first two things that I would check out um, and then you know we'll go from there all right I'm gonna start it up and we're gonna do a little test on it So the engine is obviously running, um, it appears to be running fairly okay, but I know if I try to put any kind of load on it, uh, it's going to bog it down, and if I try to drive it while with the blades on, it's definitely going to bog it way down. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and pull off one spark plug wire at a time and see if the cylinder on the opposite side is good because if I pull off the spark plug wire on this side and it stays on that means the other side cylinder is still firing so let's go ahead and try that alright so you can see there that I pulled that spark plug wire off the engine's still running, which means the other side, opposite of that, is still firing right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that spark plug wire back on and try the other one. Alright, so obviously the engine died, which means the cylinder on the opposite side is the one that is not firing. Alright, so now that we've determined that the left side cylinder is not firing, uh, to eliminate the spark plug being the possible problem, I'm going to just take the two spark plugs, since I don't have brand new ones on me right now, and I'm just going to switch them because I know the one on the, the right side, the cylinder is firing. So the spark plug is at least functioning properly. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm not going to show you the whole process of switching the spark plugs, but I am just going to show you kind of what I'm using here. I got a 13 16 spark plug socket, which has a little rubber seat on the inside to sort of hold the spark plug in place and a ratchet. And basically, you just go over here to the spark plug, pull the spark plug wire off, put your socket around it, turn your ratchet to loose or yeah, to loosen, and pretty much that's it. I know that's a, at least a functioning, whether or not it's good or not. Uh, you know, it doesn't look too terrible, but it's at least functioning. I'm gonna go ahead and replace them when, when I go to replace that coil pack, if that's the problem. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this spark plug with the other spark plug and go through that same process that we just went through earlier on in this video. 
and that will help us determine if it is spark plug or potentially the coil pack. After taking the spark plugs out and switching them and following the same steps that I did earlier in this video, I got the exact same results. Left side cylinder still not firing. So now I've pretty much determined that the spark plug is not the issue and it's more than likely the ignition coil pack. So I went online and I ordered an ignition coil pack and when that comes in, I'm definitely gonna make a video on how to install that. So please stay tuned, hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified as soon as I upload that video and uh, hit that like button for me and have a great day everybody.